everyone, my name's Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader. So this week I actually finished one of the books that I had pre-ordered to forever to get to me. So when it finally did, I really wanted to jump into it. And that was The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez. And I've been really looking forward to this book for a long time because I read the first one in the series, which is kind of a series, but it's one of those romance series where they take one character, tell the story about them, and then they take another character and they tell a story about them. So I read the very first one, which was The Friend Zone, book one. Uh, last year when it came out and this was highly anticipated for me so because I never really got to do a video on the friend zone and I really wanted to talk about a happy ever playlist I thought I'd do a little mini review of both of them the friend zone is the first one and you have to read this one first because it really gives you an idea of what the second book is about there's things that are in the second book that you you need to know from book one they're definitely not standalones so the friend zone <laughs> is hilarious it's, you know, about Kristen and she meets this guy named Josh through uh, her best friend and her best friend's husband and she hits it off with Josh, but she kind of has this uh, aversion to dating because she was told that she wasn't going to be able to have children. So she really likes him, really wants to be with him, but is kind of friend zoning him because he wants kids, he wants a big family, and she can't have children. So while it is this kind of funny rom-com style, this book can get very heavy for people. So when I recommend this book, I literally say, be ready to have your heart ripped out and stomped on the floor. And Abby, that's your fault. You did that to us. But that being said, it's a great book. I love this book. It was one of my top 10 of last year. I recommend this to everybody who likes rom-com, but I put the nice little asterisk on it saying, be prepared. It is very emotional. There's a lot of real stuff that happens in it, but it's got that fun, sexy, flirty romance book vibe as well. So the Friend Zone, I gave this one a five star. So if you haven't read The Friend Zone, I really recommend that you stop listening to the video here because I don't want what happens in the friend zone to ruin your experience reading that book. If you know what the plot of the Happy Ever After playlist is about, it may ruin it for you. So if you haven't read the friend zone, stop here. If you have read the friend zone and you want to know, should I buy the Happy Ever After playlist? The answer is yes, 100% yes. I will be the first one to tell you that I stopped reading the friend zone and I literally felt like my heart was shattered in a million pieces for Sloan. And you should know why. But this book takes that and gives you a whole different picture of Sloan and her moving on with her life and her getting another love story because you don't doubt that she loved Brandon at all. And I really, really loved how Abby took this character and this heartbreak that you had in the friend zone and gave her her own happiness. And I thought it was so fun, it was so cute. There's dogs, there's music. She actually has the playlist created on Spotify that you can listen to while you read it. And it's just, I loved it so much. I had a girl actually ask me for recommendations on my Instagram. And so she messaged me once she had finished reading the friend zone and was scared to read Happy Ever After Playlist because she was so upset with how the first one ended. But I urged her to go get it right now because it just makes you feel so much better and it's happy and sexy and lovey and there's all kinds of funny banter and chemistry and you just love, love, love the new characters. So the Happy Ever After Playlist, another five stars from Abby and she has made herself one of my auto buy authors. So can't wait to see what more she puts out. Thanks for listening to my mini review. If you want to chat with me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Insta at the fun size reader on Facebook at the fun size reader and on Twitter at fun size reader and click on my face to subscribe. See you guys next time.